Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do something a little different. It's Sunday and I know for all of us, Sundays are a little hard. Whether you are a mom who doesn't get a lot of sleep like me, or if you're one of those who spends your Saturday nights out all night dancing and partying the night away. So I know that maybe Sundays aren't always the best days that you look as refreshed and like you got that good night's sleep like you normally do. So I wanna show you a couple tips and tricks that I use that really give me that wide awake, looks like I slept a million hours look, even though I probably didn't. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is I like to spray some rose water. Now this is our toning spritz. And what this does is it just really helps if you have any redness or any puffiness, this really just kind of amps up your skin so that it takes away any of that. So all I do is just take, do a few little spritzes all over and you're good to go. Okay, so the second thing that I like to do is conceal. So before I put on any foundation, powder, any of that, I am gonna put on a concealer. Now this is our highlight and contour stick. And I love this because you get multi-purpose out of one stick. One side is the highlight and this is your contour side. And I love this because you're getting two products in one. Basically, I like to use this side for my highlight under my eyes, really help just make you look wide awake. And that's just gonna really diminish those dark circles or anything that we normally get from not getting the right amount of sleep that we need. So all I do is I take the lighter side and I just like to draw a nice triangle. Now when I'm doing this before I put on my foundation, I like to do a color that is closer to my natural skin tone, sorry. And um, I like doing this just because we haven't put on anything else yet. So this is just really go going to blend in very nicely. Don't worry, we're really gonna brighten it up afterwards. So once I have my contour stick, and I use the highlighter stick later on, but that's for a completely different video. We're just focusing on brightening up under those eyes right now. So this is the highlight and contour stick. It does come in light, medium, dark, and deep. Four shades, sorry. And you can pick whichever one you need. I personally, I like the lighter one for after really brightening up the medium one, which is what I used right now. This is really good to put on once you are actually, um, before you put on any other product. So that's really good. Or if you have a more tanned skin tone, then the medium will work good for brightening up for you. So once you have it on, you're gonna take a blending bud. You wanna make sure that it is damp. You don't want it soaking wet and you definitely do not want it dry. So I'm gonna take the blending bud, just kind of make sure you get off any extra of that moisture and then just blend it in really well. Okay, once you have that all blended in, and remember, it doesn't have to be perfect because we still haven't even added on our foundation yet. So once you get that all blended in, then we can move on to foundation. Now, I like to personally use our Touch Liquid Foundation. This is a liquid foundation that does dry to a powder finish, so you're not left with that really dewy finish. I use the shade Eyelet, which is a medium tone shade. Now, if you need to get color match, just let me know and I'd be more than glad to help you out. So the first thing I want to do is open up my liquid foundation and squeeze all that extra product in. Give it a good shake. And then you are ready to go. I put some back into the little dropper. Then I'm going to take my favorite brush, which is our powder concealer brush. This is literally my miracle brush. I use it for everything. I'm just gonna take and dab my four little drops everywhere and then just blend it in. Now 
Now, when you're blending, don't forget to blend all the way down to your neck so we don't have any of those lines. And there you go. Now, if you have some really dark circles or redness that you're trying to cover up, this next step is gonna be crucial. You wanna take a concealer, a full coverage concealer. Me personally, I like to use our Skin Perfecting Concealer. This is amazing, it can cover anything, I promise. So I like to use the shade Scarlet. Let me grab her real quick. This is Scarlet, it is actually our lightest shade. And I love it because it just really adds that lightness under your eyes that I desperately need. So I'm gonna take some Scarlet, and what I like to do is rub it on both fingers and then do a little triangle effect here. Now I didn't mention this before, but it's super important when you're doing concealer or any kind of highlighting under your eyes that you wanna make sure it goes down in a triangle shape. The reason being is whenever us normally that we were all taught to just go strictly under your eyes, you're actually emphasizing those points. And that's the last thing that we wanna do when we're trying to cover up those dark circles or puffiness. So by doing the triangle effect, you're actually drawing the eye down. And that's exactly what we want. So now, of course, once again, using our miracle brush here, I'm gonna use the opposite side, which is for concealer. And we're just gonna blend it out. Okay, and then once we have it all blended out, I'm gonna take my little blending bud from earlier and just dab it out. And there you go, look how bright my under eyes look. I look like I have gotten 10 hours of sleep even though I know that I didn't. Okay, so the final step that I like to do that definitely gives me that wide awake, slept all night kind of look is a good mascara. And of course y'all know I'm gonna use Epic. Now this mascara is amazing with just one coat or it's definitely buildable and like me, do two or three goats. <laughs> so I hope that helped. I hope these tips and tricks that I provided for y'all really help with what you're looking for. It definitely makes me feel more wide awake and look like I got plenty of sleep. So I hope you all have a great day. If y'all have any questions, just comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all next time. Bye.